For years, physicists theorized about the subatomic presence of a particle called the Higgs boson. Here's what it does. All matter is made of atoms. The nuclei of atoms consists of protons and neutrons. These protons and neutrons are, in turn, composed of subatomic particles, including up and down quarks and force carriers. One of these force carriers is known as the Higgs boson. The Higgs field permeates all of space and gives elementary subatomic particles mass through its interactions with them, according to Encyclopedia Britannica. Different particles interact with it in different ways. With virtually no mass, electrons pass through the Higgs field virtually unimpeded. On the other hand, top quarks, which have heavier masses, interact more strongly with the field, according to Symmetry magazine. In 2012, scientists working at the CERN Particle Physics Laboratory near Geneva, Switzerland, proved the existence of the Higgs boson particle within the Higgs field, describing it on CERN's website as the visible manifestation of the Higgs field, rather like a wave at the surface of the sea. The particle was discovered by sending protons racing around the world's largest particle accelerator at nearly the speed of light. The protons smashed into each other with enough energy to generate a Higgs boson. The existence of the Higgs boson is fleeting, however. Once it occurs, the particle lives for just one millionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second, according to the CMS collaboration writing on the official CERN website. Work on discovering more about the Higgs boson is still ongoing. According to an Atlas experiment briefing on the official CERN website, one property that is yet to be verified is whether the Higgs boson can couple to itself. If that reality differs significantly from standard model predictions, then the laws that govern the interactions of matter could have to be seen very differently. If you're interested in any of the other work happening at CERN, why not check out an explainer on the discovery of charm quarks last year, and before that, a more fundamental explainer on the nature of quarks. Researchers found a new kind of particle at the world's biggest accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Why does this matter? Well, most matter is made of quarks, and nobody has seen a particle made of four charm quarks before. A team of scientists made the first ever sighting of an exotic particle by using the Large Hadron Collider at Europe's CERN. According to the study in the Archive preprint server, the particle is made of two charm quarks and two charm antiquarks. Charm is one of the six flavors a quark can have in the standard model of particle physics. The Large Hadron Collider superconductors accelerate protons to crash them together at near light speeds. Writing in a news release, CERN says the team then filtered out ordinary background collisions and looked for bumps or excess collisions which led to the particle. Quarks are elementary particles that serve as the building blocks of all matter, but most naturally existing matter, such as protons and neutrons, is made of three quarks or fewer. A particle formed by four heavy quarks of the same type has never been seen before. CERN cautions that it is not known if the exotic particle is a pair of charm quarks held together by a weak bond, or a system of four quarks held together by strong bonds known as a true tetraquark. A certain spokesperson says creating exotic particles allows researchers to stress test theories of matter in an extreme case, which will contribute to our understanding of how neutrons and protons work. According to Ohio State University astrophysicist Paul Sutter on Life Science, physicists are interested in studying the mysterious top quark, and it may have to do with its connection to the god particle. According to CERN, quarks are subatomic particles that are the building blocks of matter. There are six types – up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Up and down quarks, which are the most common and grouped together to form protons and neutrons, the quarks have fractional charges, which add up to become the positive proton and neutral neutron charges. Charm and Strange have a fleeting existence according to Symmetry magazine, as they're unstable particles that easily decay into conventional particles. The six quarks differ in size and weight, both up and down quarks being the lightest, followed by Charm and Strange, and then bottom quarks. Top quarks are the largest, about 100 trillion times heavier than up quarks. This wide range in masses is believed to be due to the Higgs field. According to CERN, particles acquire a mass by interacting with this invisible field, whose visible manifestation is the Higgs boson particle. The more a particle interacts, the heavier it is. Experiments at the Large Hadron Collider reveal that the Higgs boson interacts strongly with the top quark. 
Physicists believe that by studying its coupling with top quarks, more can be learned about the properties of the Higgs boson. It might even lead to the discovery of heavy new physics particles. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.